morning warm welcome to online classes dear children today is tuesday i namita your sst teacher again joined you children you have completed your chapter 1 2 and 3 the topics are the family family similarities and your food student please tell me what do you wear when you are going to a party or when you are going to the school or when you are going to your friend's house can you give me the answer children you must be curious why ma'am is giving emphasis on our dresses yes our new topic is dresses see the topic the topic name is our dresses before starting the chapter i will show you some slides of different type of dresses of india this is the dresses of bihar sari and dhoti kurta this is the dresses of maharashtra this is the dresses of north east assamese sari and nagaland mizoram they are wearing this type of dresses now you will come on your topic your dresses before starting your topic i want to introduce you i know we all like new and stylish dresses what do you mean by dresses it means that we use dresses to cover our body dresses protect us from heat cold etc and dresses give us a new look in india people used to wear dresses according to the climate area and culture you know students there are variety of dresses in india why there are variety in dresses the answer is there are variety in dresses due to climate culture and tradition slowly slowly we will read about all things climate culture and tradition now before starting the chapter you will take out your pencil and you will be ready to read the chapter now the introduction is finished and now i will read the topic line by line take out your pencil put date and ready with me the topic is our dresses you know india is land of colorful dresses underline the word colorful and dresses visit any place and you will see the women wearing a variety of dresses like skirt jeans trouser sari salwar kameez ghaghra lungi etc underline all the dresses like skirt jeans trouser sari salwar kameez ghaghra lungi etc and you also underline the word variety come to the next line the men can be seen in kurta pajama lungi dhoti tehmat jeans or trouser these are the famous dresses of gents men men's wear so underline all the men's wear in some places you will find people wearing warm clothes and another place people be wearing cool cotton dresses why because they wear warm clothes in cold areas and cotton clothes in hot and humid areas see the picture given on the page different type of dresses people are wearing according to their states culture and tradition come to the next line why is there such a variety in dresses before starting the chapter i have discussed this line one reason for the variety is the climate and other reason is the culture and tradition of the people 
in hot and humid climate of Tamil Nadu and Kerala people wear cool cotton clothes because cotton clothes are wearing wear in summer season in hot and humid season they are cool and comfortable the men most mostly wear lungi and cotton shirt and the women wear sari or lungi with blouse this is the dress of tamil nadu and kerala now i have finished this page every day we will go one page one by one page and i will discuss about every things of the chapter before finishing the chapter i would like to give the emphasis on do you know do you know cotton silk and wool are natural fabrics nylon and polyester are man made fabric what do you mean by man made fabric and polyester fabrics means cotton and sil- silk cotton and wool these are natural fibers because cotton is plant silk we get silk from silk worm and we get wool from sheep so these are the natural fibers and nylon and polyester are man made fibers because these are made by synthetic things so here you came to know about the difference of cotton silk wool and nylon f- polyester fabrics in next page we will come to know about our climate and tradition so today we i have finished the page and i am giving you some homeworks so see the homeworks and try to do it at first you will learn all the hard words hard words i have not given you too much hard words only i have given you 7 to 8 hard words like varieties skirts jeans trousers sari salwar kameez kurta lungi dhoti tehmat trouser places cool cotton dresses climate humid sarees only few words are there and add it nylon and polyester cotton silk and wool only few words are there please learn it by heart and learn spelling also then you will draw two pictures of men's wear in your copy and two pictures of girls wear in your copy and color the picture also and next work is read the page properly read it well and understand and ready for your next class okay students next day we will meet on thursday so i am sure you will do all the homeworks and you enjoyed the chapter and again on thursday we will join the next class the topic will be same our dresses so my dear students goodbye